Oh. What about President Nixon? Uh, it was, uh, uh, it, it's interesting, I, I was not political, I was, mm. I was very young then, but the troubling aspect that he seemed to be talking about an America that didn't come to grips with me. There was a young brother who was from Washington, D.C., named John Fowler, who was also in the class. And the president was talking about how great America was and the wonderful opportunities and that everyone can be a leader. And I looked around the room and I said, well, this is interesting. This is a large class of America's future leaders. Very few blacks and mm -hmm. very few women. Uh, and I noticed that. Uh, and John Fowler, who had gone to school in D.C., said, well, that man's up at the White House, but I want to show you the other side of the postcard. Mm -hmm. uh, because he says, I'm going to a segregated school. I know how the police are treating black people here in Washington, D.C. Uh, you should see what our church has to say. And I stayed over a couple of other days to see a side of Washington, D.C. that the president hadn't talked about. And mm -hmm. so his aspirational view that it's the greatest time in America, uh, we should celebrate uh, the republic, uh, and anyone can uh, take advantage of opportunity, uh, was in a sense uh, negated by the reality of what I saw in Washington, D.C. in 1972. It was a very different city that I saw when I went to Southeast Washington and what he described when we were at the, uh, at the White House in Northwest Washington. Yes, I really find it interesting that Jack Anderson had this effect. I mean, I, I don't doubt it at all, but that uh, it's a wonder you didn't become a, a journalist. Well, you know, it was very powerful, and it did have an impact on me when I went to uh, Stanford, to, mm. to, to the university, because that's, ex that's the first thing I did. I became editor of the Real News newspaper, the Black Suit newspaper, mm -hmm. because I thought here was a way to get your message out. And so it was a very effective lesson uh, mm -hmm. and it was a very effective role model. But as I think about it, we were there for over a week. Uh, I didn't see a single black professional. I didn't see a black member of Congress. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a black lawyer, a black doctor, or any black professionals. And so to the extent that they were trying to have an impact on us, you would think that somebody would have appeared Sure. Uh, at that uh, forum, or one of those forums, when we were there for more than a week, and we were the future leaders, mm -hmm. uh, uh, f future issues, future leaders in governance, that at least they would have cosmetically presented, here are some examples, mm -hmm. but they probably didn't have any in 1972. Mm -hmm. Who could they call? The Black Caucus didn't exist, even though right. there were a few representatives. Uh, there, were, there was very little representation in national government. Uh, there is there is no obvious cabinet member with Nixon who could have come out mm -hmm. and said something helpful, and so it's actually interesting. It may have been the difference between uh, what America imagined was uh, uh, its uh, persona and the reality of what it looked like in 1972. Radically different. Now, now from, 1970. I'm sorry. 